Hold your body in ways that you don't understand, but I'm losing my patience. Okay guys, so we are started really close and personal today. We are going to do um, kind of like an emerald green, well yeah, emerald green, not smoky eye, but just like an emerald green eye with black, black liner and very gold, like inner corner, I guess. Um, I'm obsessed with green eyed makeup. Like I think that green eye shadow is beautiful. Those jade emerald tones, I think personally that that's gorgeous. On all skin types it flatters all skin types whether it's matte or sparkly I just love it so that's what we're gonna do today if I can find myself okay so my face is already done we're just gonna do eyes for today um my eyes are already primed and set and to start I am going to what is you gonna do Shaquilla you just gonna do something is you gonna do something like you need to let the people know Okay, so now that we already have one eye done, I'm going to do this other eye on camera because I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do this. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So my eye is already primed and set. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this NYX Nude Matte Shadow. And this is in the shade Blame It On Blame It On Midnight. I always want to say Blame It On The Midnight because I feel like it makes sense. But it's Blame It On Midnight. I'm going to take my Morphe M501 brush like this and I'm going to take that swirl it in here I'm going to use this as my initial transition color and I like using the m501 for this because it's such a big brush it places the color exactly where I want it but it blows it out and covers my eyes so that for something like this where we're working with such dark colors I really need to make sure that my transition shade is spread out evenly so I take this and I just go in my crease just like that the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with with a wet and wild blending brush that same shade I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna put that color more in the crease and concentrate it and build it up till we get a nice caramel brown and this I'm just using small circular motions starting at the outer V of my eye and then building that up into the crease and when I get into the crease I'm just gonna do windshield wiper motions okay so now that we have that color built up, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this forest green shadow here. This is high, uh, This is Team Captain by ColourPop. It's one of their pressed matte eyeshadows. And I'm going to go in with that same blending brush from Wet n Wild that we just used to put down that NYX color. I'm going to tap in there. And I'm not going to pick up too much on this brush to begin with. Just a very tiny amount. Like if you can even see that, like the tiniest amount just on the tip. And we're just going to put this right in the crease over that Blame It On Midnight color. And I'm going to use very, very, very light windshield motions. Because we're using dark green, I just want to put a little bit of it in the crease as well so that the gradient is seamless. And then I'm going to use circular motions when I get down to the lid. Just like that. I'm going to tap into that again. So the next thing I am going to do is I am going to take this Lancome dual ended brush. Um, this side is just like a flat uh, packing brush. I'm going to take this and I'm also going to take this shade which is a beautiful dark green forest green from um, Colourpop. This is a super shock shadow in matte and it's in the shade high rise. If you can see that. And I'm going to take the packing side of that brush I'm just going to dab in there. And I'm going to place this starting at the inner corner all over my mobile lid. You could also use your finger for this because ColourPop shadows are really, these, uh, the Super Shock shadows are really good with your finger um, because they're kind of that moussey like gel texture. Your finger warms it up and it just deposits the, the perfect amount of product. But I'm going to use the brush. And I know normally like if I was working, so if I were to be working with just uh, like press shadows like that, um, like that Team Captain shadow or this other one here, this is another kind of olive green color. If I was using just these, I would put down some sort of base, like maybe a black gel liner and then tap that over top because it gives it a richness. But this ColourPop shadow does it already for me. So if you don't have this exact shade, don't worry. You can also just take a little bit of your gel liner or eyeliner, pat that on your lid very, very thinly, and then put that press shadow over it and it's gonna give you the exact same kind of dark effect.
just like that. And then when we have the intensity that we want, we're gonna go back in with that Wet n Wild brush that we picked up uh, that green shade on. We're gonna, bless me, sorry. We're gonna tap into that Team Captain shade a little bit more. Tap off the excess. It's gonna blend out the edges of that color so that it's seamless. So I'm going to go in with my, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Black, and I'm going to do a wing, and I kind of want to make my wing a little bit dramatic, so I'm going to bring it out pretty far, and then make it pretty thick across my eye. Not so much the inner corner, but where, so this outer corner here, where I connect my wing, I'm going to make that pretty thick. And as usual, we can always go in and clean up the um, the liner. This look is a really good candidate for if you wanted to use tape to make it really sharp. But I mean, I don't know. I didn't, honestly, I didn't think about it till now. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that the upper eye is done, I'm gonna take my Smashbox Double Exposure Palette and I'm gonna tap into that matte black, which is super black. And I'm just gonna place that at the very outer corner very lightly and then we're going to blend it actually i'm going to change the brush because that's a disaster waiting to happen i'm going to take this uh what is this this is a i sh i don't know the exact name but i'll list it down below but this is just the flat brush from the real techniques eye set i'm going to dip into that black and place that right where the liner meets that green just like that and i'm going to tap that in there right where that liner meets the green just to give it a darker look. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And now I'm just going to go in with, this is the brush from the Anastasia self-made palette. I'm not going to put any product on the edge of this here. I'm just going to use this to blend that black a little bit more into the green. I think it's very catty. It's very, oh, I love it. basically it um the only thing i'm going to do is the under eye and then i'm going to add some lashes so to do my lower lash line i'm going to take um that same green color here that uh cap teen captain color from ColourPop, and i'm going to take this on a morphe m560 brush it's, it's a very thin pencil brush i'm going to dip that in i'm going to trace my lower lash line with that And I'm going to keep this product mostly on the outer half of my eye. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M432, it's just this flat definer brush, and I'm going to pick up some of that black, and I'm going to trace that as close to the lash line as possible. I'm also going to keep this black on the outer half of my eye. I'm going to take this flat blending brush from Wet n Wild and I'm going to take a little bit of that Blame It on Midnight color and I'm just going to buff out the edge of that green that we put on the lower lash line. And next, I am going to highlight my inner corner, my brow bone, and put on some lashes. I'm going to take these Kiss Lashes, and this is in the style Spicy, and I am going to use these. They're very, very full lashes, if you can see that. They're very full. They're very, very pretty, though. I will apply these, and I will be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on, and the last thing we're going to do is highlight the inner corner and brow bone, and then do lips. So to highlight, I think I'm going to use my Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and this is in the shade Precious Petals. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use that Bamboo Naturals uh, Eye Smudge Brush. 
And I'm going to give that a spray with my uh, first base primer spray from NYX. Just going to spray the top of that and then tap into the precious petal. And I'm just going to put that right on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take a flat blending brush from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to pop that right under the, the highest point of my brow. Hmm. This one. Lastly, I am going to do my lips. So for lips, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner. Uh, this is matte lip liner in the shade brown. And I am then going to fill in with the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick. And this is in the shade Sandstorm. Okay, and that is it for this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed creating this look. And as always, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Girl, I just want to take you home and get right into it. No, I got to kiss it, baby. Give it to me. Lick it, lick it inside and out. You know that I just want to make love. Want you to scream and shout.